How we doing today, folks? About three years ago, I purchased a uh, used Bearcat chipper shredder. You can see it over my shoulder here. And this is the five horse model. This is the smaller model that, that Bearcat made uh, before they, they were even bought out by Echo. Uh, so this chipper's got a few years on it. So I've been making some videos about, you know, repairs I've done with the chipper. I replaced a bearing. Uh, I sharpen the blades and just generally how the chipper works. And what I want to do today is go ahead and put some new blades on. Uh, I made a video, which I'll put at the end of this video, where I showed how I sharpen my blades. If I sharpen the blades, I'll get maybe one, maybe two uses before the job I do isn't really good enough and they need to be professionally sharpened. So what I ended up doing is I uh, ordered some new blades from a company called Bailey's out in California. Uh, and I got two brand new blades for my Echo Chipper. And I'm just going to show you the packaging here. And you can see right on there it says knife size 3.125 by 2 by 0 0.250. So this, uh, this is the right size blade for a Bearcat Chipper Shredder, Echo Chipper Shredder. And um, shipped to my house, uh, it was $35.28 which I think is a pretty, a pretty reasonable price. So today what I want to do is uh, just go ahead and swap the, uh, the old blades out with the new ones and then just run some stuff through the chipper and see how they work. I was at my local equipment dealer who sells uh, power equipment and they sharpen chipper blades for a dollar per inch. So a blade like this, which is uh, 3.125 is the inch, that would be seven and a half inches. So I'm assuming it would be 750 to sharpen this blade. I don't know if there's a minimum involved there or not, or if they can do blades this small. But I did just want to mention that as an option. We'll give these guys a try. If I like them, maybe I'll buy a second pair. And then I'll just, you know, the, the blades are reversible, so you run one side, flip them, run the other side, take them to be sharpened, put the second set in, you've got two uses then. Uh, so with two sets of blades, I should be able to uh, have them sharpen professionally, doing a much better job than I do. Okay, so we got the, uh, the machine up on the, uh, the trailer here. I've done this before. Where I've dragged it up on a ramp to the back of my pickup, and I just don't want to fall off the back of a pickup, so we went with the lower, the lower height. Uh, we got the motor over here. The chipper in feed chute is, is over back this way, so the chipper blades are going to be on this side. So. All I need to do is loosen this knob down here. And I want to thank, thank uh, Gordon Robertson for the idea to use a knob so I don't have to get under there with a, with a wrench to get this guy off. very carefully roll the flywheel around and if I move the chipper a touch I can actually lock this guy in place in the wrong spot Okay, so can you guys see, right here is the blade we want to change. So we'll just take our gear wrench and we'll loosen up the old ones. Now remember, even if these blades are dull, they're still very sharp. So you have to be careful not to go sticking your fingers in there and touching the blades. And especially when we open the new ones, the new ones will actually be sharper than kitchen knives when they come out of the box. I'm gonna be extremely careful. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit for you guys. Is that pretty good? I 
and out goes the old one. So there's our old knife. And again, I'm being very careful not to touch the cutting surfaces, but you can see how the, the part that's on the outside gets rounded off. It gets rounded off because that's where most of the, the work is done when it's chipping stuff. So now we're gonna go ahead and put a pair of gloves on to make sure we don't cut ourselves on the new blades. Nice leather gloves. New blade, old blade. And I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna throw the old blades out and get another pair of new blades, assuming they don't dull in 10 seconds. These are pretty nasty. So I have the best luck putting these in if I get an original Wheat Thins box and I kind of fold it in half and put it right underneath where the blade goes. And then you want to put your blade so that the knife is closer to where the material comes in. The longer part of the knife is closer to where the material comes in. And this one always gets tricky for me, so we'll see how it goes. And you see how the Wheat Thins box catches the blade so it doesn't fall down. And then we can take a screwdriver and see if we can line up the holes to get the bolt started. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Loctite stick, which I really like. I like Loctite, but the liquid, every time I use the liquid, the, uh, the cap gets gummed up with the Loctite. So I'm gonna put a little bit of force back here to keep this from moving and see if I can just thread that on. And it's not gonna go that easy, is it? Uh, I think I got it started there. A Little bit of Loctite stick. And then Okay, and I moved the cardboard up a bit, so it's kind of pushing the blade over. And let's see if there's enough of a hole there to catch on. And I'm gonna put a glove on this hand, just in case I put it somewhere it doesn't belong. And see if we can tighten up these blades. There's a little pocket that the blades go in. You don't just force them in there. At the bottom of the blade, at the bottom of the blade, there's like a little notch in the flywheel. Hopefully you guys can see that. So you gotta make sure when you put them on that they get in that little notch. I'm sure there is a torque spec for this blade, but I do not know it. I'm going to go with tight enough. You see how I just put my bar on the top to keep it from moving up? No fingers in there when we're tightening. And we're just going to make them fairly snug, if not tight. We don't want these to vibrate off. Always making sure your fingers are nowhere that if anything slips that they're going to get pinched. think that's pretty good. So there's your flywheel, you see the blade, and then I gotta do this one still. So there's our flywheel, and there's our blade, and I think what they say is you can sharpen these up until the tip of the blade, some part of the blade, maybe the back of the blade, is below the flywheel. So it looks like I could possibly have these sharpened I don't know if the shop is going to want to sharpen them or not, because they're going to have to remove a lot of metal. But for 36 bucks, if, if these blades are good, I'll just get another set and take these to the uh, metal recycling place. I'm going to go ahead and do the other blade now. There's no reason for you guys to watch that twice. And then uh, we'll come back when we're putting the shroud back on. Okay, guys, I forgot to hit play when I put the screen back in. Apologies for that. But um, not a big deal to do. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some fuel in her. Well guys, I'm gonna call that one a victory, you know? Uh, I've been sharpening the blades myself and I'm not as good as a professionally sharpened blade. And the blades were much more self-feeding, you know, they would, they would pull the stuff into the unit. Um, there was one big piece of uh, ash I had that it would, you know, it, it wanted to keep feeding it in. I had to kind of pull it back to stop it. But uh, I'm gonna call these blades from Bailey's a victory and just go ahead and order you know another set of blades so i'll have the set of blades i can flip them and i'll have the second set and then whenever i pull them out because i've dulled both sides i'll take them to my dealer have them sharpen them for probably around 15 to 20 bucks um, per set and then i'll still have another set back up to run through uh, so i think that might be the uh, the best solution uh, very reasonable, and I'll always have, you know, nice factory fresh sharpened blades. And if I take them out before they get too dull, you know, they should last a while as well if I don't beat them to death. Well, I think you saw today how easily it went, though. It's not a big deal to either rotate your blades or change out your blades, and I just need to keep up that routine uh, more frequently. So thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.